We knew Richard through the fruit market. I was on the board of the fruit market gallery, so I knew his work. And behind his back, we called him the Prince of Light. And this was a very dark space, so we thought this was something that Richard could probably do something with. Of course, all the nouveau Georgian neighbors were up in arms, but the planning department thought it was wonderful because it was Richard Murphy and, and they had no problem with it. So it went ahead. And of course, now everybody thinks it's great. The neighbors think it's a landmark. People queue up every year around the corner on Doors Open Day to have a look inside. Just a lot of fun with the light and the mirrors and all the people who've come in look up and they say, Oh, so the neighbor has the same ceiling. It's, it's, it's so convincing, you just, you don't realize. You really cannot see the mirror, you cannot see that it stops, it just goes on and on. It's very difficult for some people to see in their mind's eye what it's going to look like when it's finished. You talk about glass bricks, they say no, because you say glass bricks, they think of a dentist office. So they don't, don't see this as, a, as a, an architectural feature. But there it is, and it's wonderful, especially at night when you have the red wall shining through. It, it gives a glow. It's, it's a fantastic gem of a little box especially what it was before. I mean, it was, it was just dirty, derelict, grim, dim, nothing. I just didn't want to interfere. I thought, it's like commissioning a work of art. And if you commission a work of art, then you just let the painter get on with it.